My name is Paul Kushner. Uh, I'm uh, from the Department of Physics at the University of Toronto, and I'm here today to talk about uh, an initiative called Atmosphere Related Research in Canadian Universities. Um, and uh, I want to give a bit of a background on this. It's a bit of uh, it's really outside uh, the rest of the talks, I think, and so I'm very happy to talk about this. Uh, afterwards as well if you have more questions. So this is the, the story. We've got a lot of great talent in, uh, in weather, climate, and air quality research in Canada and we're really inspired um, by uh, UCAR and NCAR and the example it provides and so we're trying to organize our own research community in Canada. Um, so uh, before I get started into that I want to give you a little pop quiz. So get out your pencils and your bubble sheets. How many Canadian universities are UCAR members? My first question and there's two bonuses. Name them and the third one is name three Canadian contributions to UCAR and NCAR. Okay, I've actually allowed a little bit of extra time here. So this is, I've, I've repeated this slide, so you, have, you can think about this. Okay, how, how, so we're going to get the answers in a second. How many Canadian universities are members of UCAR? Three, four, three, four, three, four. We'll find out in a minute. It's four, yes. There are now four member universities. McGill, uh, Toronto and York were up till a couple, uh, about a year ago were the only members. Now British Columbia is in there too. Uh, we have our colleague from uh, UBC representing uh, that, that institution. Um, in terms of what we've contributed to uh, UCAR and NCAR, it's a long uh, multi-decadal uh, collaboration we've had in many areas, uh, contributions to Comet, model development, uh, we've had uh, members uh, on the UCOR board, board of Trustees. Um, I, I myself serve on the steering committee for uh, the CSM project. Okay, so about ARCU. So ARCU is a self-organized group of Canadian University faculty. So we're sort of starting from the ground up and we're doing research in weather, climate and air quality. Um, and we've, we've grouped our research in the general area of atmosphere-related research, which deals with the whole atmosphere from the surface to space and its interaction with uh, different boundaries, so land surface, ocean, cryosphere, and so on. And so we're connected in ways a lot of the UCAR and NCAR uh, sciences to social science, environmental science. Our main uh, activity so far has been to scope our community through a white paper, um, which is posted at our website, arcu.ca. Uh, and this white paper has several authors who are actually uh, active in, in UCAR. Uh, there's uh, John Jackham, Roland Stahl. And the idea of this paper was to outline our scope, to advocate for fundamental research in Canada, and describe areas for government and industry partnerships. We've had a lot of uh, buy-in from our uh, colleagues in the uh, universities, professors have signed on. Uh, we're getting some institutional support. So the overarching vision of, uh, of ARCU is to carry out research on weather, climate, and air quality that benefits Canada in a time of rapid societal, environmental um, uh, change. Um, so we're focusing on research and capacity in Canada and on adv advocating for uh, better support and partnerships. This rather complicated schematic is taken from our white paper and on the top it shows the kind of science we do and how we go about it. So I won't go into all the details, but basically we wanted to separate out the science we do from the applications and there's a two-way connection which we call discovery to application and application to discovery, back and forth between fundamental research and applications. Um, just to make the community aware that we can separate these things and talk about disciplines and then also applications in different ways. We spend a lot of time talking about how we should describe our priorities and what we've decided is to package up what we do and to offer these as our priorities for partnership in areas like uh, weather and climate prediction, Arctic and cold regions, a big interest in Canada, regional and climate and hydroclimate, air quality research and biogeochemistry research related to the atmosphere, and also applied research, de developing spin-offs. These are all things that are carried out in the universities, and this is also what we can offer in terms of partnership. So uh, we uh, had our white paper posted in, uh, in uh, August, and now we're engaging in our first strategic planning activity, which is a uh, focus on university government partnerships. And in that uh, scope, we're actually looking at uh, priorities and, and funding uh, programs for atmosphere research in Canada, infrastructure and how to coordinate our work in the international scene, including with UCAR and other international programs from WCRP and, and so on. Um, trying to figure out our own capacity. We don't have a good survey of our own university capacity uh, in terms of the research dollars and, and programs. So uh, besides the government focus, uh, we're also looking at university industry partnerships. So that's the second part. And the third part is education and training and outreach and communications. Um, and uh, this is all work that we're uh, undertaking now. So why should you care? I think I'm going, oh, I've got only 19 slides, so I'm going to be able to talk about this. Why should you care? I think, you know, Canadian researchers 
perhaps in the background are actually a big part of what uh, NCAR is engaged in. And so uh, we really think it's important for the, this community to know about what's going on up there and also to be part of it. UCAR has provided huge support to some of our earlier efforts uh, in the past few years. And so uh, we're really grateful for that. So if you're interested, we have a webinar coming up November 7th, and I'd be happy to uh, share information about that with you. Thank you.